little content. It's your, your brand. We want to hear about it. We're excited about this brand that you created. The girl doesn't say a word. Blistering, peeling. My lips have been so painfully dry. What's up with all these celebs and influencers launching these cheap skincare products and ruining people's skin? See, this is what happens when you buy from an influencer instead of trusting a well-established brand. There has been a lot of controversy surrounding Hailey Bieber's skincare line in the past couple of months, mostly because of how expensive it is and how it's leaving people's skin with burn marks and irritation. Yeah. It's just insane that people are now realizing how Hailey Bieber's skincare line is a total scam. But for me personally, I feel like it should have been avoided in the first place because the amount of controversies this company has been in says a lot about their scam product. So without further ado, let's take a deep breath and address what went wrong with Hailey Bieber's skin line. I know you guys are sick and tired of these celebs and influencers launching these horrible makeup and skincare lines just to earn some extra cash. And trust me, I'm sick of them as well. We recently saw the disastrous attempt of Charlie D'Amelio launching her skincare business and how it failed miserably after it ruined Charlie's own skin. So you could say that some of these influencers actually care about people's safety instead of selling their products for money. But I can't really say this for most of these influencers since some of them are releasing cheap and poorly established products just to profit off their own fans. Yes, in case you didn't know, we're talking about Road Skin, aka Hailey Bieber's new skincare line. Ever since Hailey announced her new skincare line, Road Skin, on her Instagram, people have been flooding her Instagram comments with tons of hate. And the reason for this is because of how unexpected it was for Hailey to launch something like that, especially when she has no business in the skin industry whatsoever. I mean, most people know that these huge influencers hire tons of professional dermatologists for their skin to be glowing and perfect, so the majority of them were aware that Hailey Bieber skincare products wouldn't fix all their issues. However, this whole situation seemed to be very sketchy for millions of people from the beginning, since it seemed that Hailey was trying to make a name for herself by creating this business and profiting off of her followers. And well, that resulted in Hailey ruining her own business within seconds. These controversies all started after Hailey threw a launch party for Road Skin at a club when some people who attended the party to support Hailey's skincare line went on Instagram to expose Hailey for being straight up rude to them. The event was beautiful, like it was literally a nightclub kind of thing. The food was nice, it was a vibe. But the girl gets there with her friends, Kylie, Kendall, all of her friends are there. But they have like this corner that only they could be in, right? But mind you, we could get there. I could literally talk to them if I want to. Um, and we give them their space. We're like, we want to take a picture with you. You know, we want a, a little content. It's your, your brand. We want to hear about it. We're excited about this brand that you created. The girl doesn't say a word. After this video went viral on the internet, things didn't end up going smoothly for Hailey's brand. Since the second she launched her business back in June, she got sued by a fashion brand called Road for trademark infringement. And y'all, this situation caused Hailey to go to court to fix these issues ASAP. Otherwise, she would have lost both her business and her own money. But luckily for Hailey, she was able to win the lawsuit weeks later and continue promoting Road Skin, which was a very terrible idea. The reason why I'm saying this is because of a recent controversy that went viral on TikTok after Hailey decided to start a beauty trend in which she called it brownie glazed lips. And well, many people found it very offensive how Hailey was taking credit for creating this trend, especially when it was famously done by black and brown women since the 90s. This situation resulted in Hailey receiving tons of hate for it after she started trending on Twitter with thousands of people attacking her for claiming something that wasn't hers. During this time, you guys, Hailey was also getting blasted on social media by a cosmetologist called Molly Sky after she went on Instagram and TikTok to call Hailey out for lying about having zero lip fillers just to sell her lip products for her followers. But this medical and cosmetic dermatology exposed her. Who are you fooling? I literally see your filler spread slash migration slash overfilling. When Haley says she's never had lip fillers because she wants you to buy her lip products. Now keep in mind, Haley is currently selling only five products from Road Skin that ranges anywhere between $15 to $30. But what seemed kind of skeptical is that Haley was focusing more on lip treatments than 
facial treatments since she was selling these products on her website. Peptide Glazing Fluid, Barrier Restore Cream, Peptide Lip Treatment Salted Caramel, Peptide Lip Treatment Unscented, Peptide Treatment Watermelon Slice. You see that last lip product has a watermelon scent to it? Well, yeah. That product was a disaster. And I'm not saying this from a single person's experience. I'm talking about hundreds and thousands of people facing issues and skin concerns by using this specific product. This all started after multiple people went on TikTok to drag and expose Haley for ruining their lips after some of them posted videos and pictures of their lips being burnt and irritated weeks after using Haley's watermelon lip treatment. Just check this out, you guys. Tried the Haley Bieber lip treatment by road. Woke up the next morning with severe blistering. Um, I've been using it for about a month and probably three weeks ago, I noticed my lips burning so bad. There were open sores like on either side. I thought it was just because it's getting cold. And now I just saw a TikTok that the watermelon um, scent of this is making people's lips burn off. And that's totally what's been happening to me. Even though this was very disturbing to watch, unfortunately, this was only the tip of the iceberg as a bunch of customers went onto TikTok to complain about how Haley's face cream products are also causing their skin to break out. And y'all, some of them even faced irritation and redness. I mean, aside from these products straight up ruining people's skin, some of Haley's customers also received their packages broken and empty. So I don't understand the point of Haley launching this business when thousands and thousands of people are complaining about how unprofessional and poor established this brand is. Because the amount of bad reviews Haley received on her own website says a lot about her professionalism. Check this out. Wanted to love, I wanted to love it, but it gave my lips an allergic reaction each time I tried it. My lips got dry the next day and I got a sore spot on my bottom lip. I have experienced dermatitis in the past and have sensitive skin, especially on my lips and under eyes, so I guess I can't handle it. I'm worried to use it again. Just imagine how disastrous it is that this amount of people are having skin conditions because of her products. It's just insane to me that these celebs and influencers only care about their bag instead of doing their own research on their products and taking precautions because I don't think this is acceptable in any shape or form. Now, after all these horrible reviews, you might expect Haley to come forward and show concern for her customers' experience using her products. But surprisingly, Haley decided to clear her name and her brand first by releasing a new design disclaimer on Instagram that said this. We always encourage a patch test and for additional concerns, please consult with your dermatologist or medical care provider. A complete list of ingredients can be found on the product page of our website. Wow. Not even a refund? I mean, at this point, I don't think a refund would even satisfy her own customers because she already has ruined their skin and left them irritated and burnt. But of course, a lot of people went on social media to call Haley out and complain about how she handled the situation very poorly and how disappointing it is that she never addressed the situation with her products and showed her customers that she actually cared. Here's what people had to say about it. A lot of these celebrities shouldn't be coming out with skincare if they genuinely don't care about the products they're putting out. She stole a small business's brand name only for people to have allergic reactions. Haley has no breakout because she doesn't use her own products for real. She goes to her doctor. Anyways, loves, I would love to hear your opinions on this situation down below and whether you have tried Haley's skincare products or not and faced issues. But for now, don't forget to click on the tab above for more juicy videos on these influencers.